Did you hear that the older gentleman who lived on the edge of the village passed away last week? I wish I would have been able to meet him. The edge of the village is pretty far away, and it's an area I really don't go in, play in too much. I think I know that what you're talking about. If it's the man I'm thinking of, that makes me so sad because we became very good friends with him. Yeah, hey, I know exactly who you're talking about. He asked me a couple months ago about my bananas. He said he walked by our village when no one was around and he was admiring how perfectly yellow my bananas were. Anybody that gives me a compliment on my bananas is all right with me. I hope it's not the man that you're talking about. Please say it isn't true. I was planning on spending some time with him, and if it is him, I would be blue. When I was a little boy back in Italy, there were a few older men that lived in our village. All of them were veterans. Many of them were in their 90s, which is kind of older. My mama always made it a point to make sure we would go and visit them for their birthdays. I wish I would have known the man in our big, beautiful green tree village. I never saw him or heard of him before. I wonder if the man on the edge of our village was a veteran. It is something we all should have learned if we just would have had taken the time to talk to him. I don't know which person you're talking about, Dad. I've only lived in the big, beautiful green tree village for a short time, but I don't think I've ever seen an older man in our village. I'm going to hop over there a little bit. Does anybody want to go with me? We can talk to his some neighbors or his family if they're at the house. Well, I've really only met him that one time a couple months ago. He was wearing a ball cap that said veteran on the front, so I'm pretty sure he was a veteran. I wish I would have made it a point to go talk to him because he really was interested in how I took care of my bananas. I know what we should do. We should make a gift basket to take to his house and put something in it we think his family would like. Of course, I'm going to put in a couple of bunches of my bananas. That's such a nice idea, Julio. It will make me feel better by putting something very special in a gift box and that his family might care for. And for sure it needs to be something very special because this man that the family, I'm sure, did adore. My Uncle Pablo Giovanni Smucci Wucci is a veteran. When I was a little boy back in Italy, he used to tell me, when you see a veteran, make sure you thank that veteran and do it right away. He said you might not ever get another chance again. And if you do miss the chance, make sure you take the time to honor them at their final resting place. Thank you to Norm and Pat Mulvey for sponsoring this episode of Bogey's Puppet Friends with the wish that you transform your life into something very positive. That was Bogey's favorite song.